Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today a video entitled Carrington Event Next Week by me, Alice B. Claggett. Uh, the first thing in the video is a painting of the Aurora Borealis by Frederick Edwin Church made in 1865 which I found in Wikimedia Commons. It's in the public domain, so I can show it to you. There is speculation that the artist was inspired by the 1865 Carrington event to create this painting. The solar ultraviolet hotspot that accounted for last week's huge solar flare on the far side of the sun is just cresting the northeastern rim of the sun. The hotspot can be seen on the top left-hand side of the NASA Images of the Sun for today, 19 February 2022. In a couple more days, and for a few days thereafter, any new solar flares by this hotspot, sunspot AR2936, will be Earth directed. There is a chance of a Carrington event, I suppose, as the explosion on the far side of the sun last week was a Lollapalooza. If it was a Carrington, though, that does not make it more or less likely that it would produce a Carrington after the sunspot is facing Earth. At least, that is what I recall from my reading on probability theory. I remember, many long years ago, going to Las Vegas on my honeymoon with my ex-husband, who passed on in recent years, God rest his soul. I had never been to a gambling establishment before. I had heard it is a common misperception amongst gamblers that one or two big wins create a winning streak. Because of that misunderstanding of probability theory, a gambler might, I had heard, keep on playing till his or her pockets were empty. I remember I set myself a $20 gambling budget for the Las Vegas visit. I lost the $20, which was right precious to me back then, but at least I did not lose my shirt at least insofar as this saying applied to my pocketbook. The probability theory teaching that one or two similar events do not create a winning streak or a losing streak applies to Carrington events as well. If a Carrington event occurred last week, then that does not make it all that likely one will occur this week when the sunspot is Earth-directed. It is possible the sunspot, in quotes, spent its cash, end quote, with that one big flare on the far side of the sun. Judging from the past few centuries of solar observations, which apparently, until about 1975, were, in quotes, catch as catch can, end quote, and spotty. The chance of a Carrington event is right rare. So my guess is that likely will not happen this coming week. Though I am sure the possibility is uppermost in the minds of astrogeophysicists right now. If you would like to read more about this, you can go to my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com and surf to my blog category Carrington Events hyphen killer solar flares. It seems to me more likely that the sunspot will produce a flurry of these earth-directed geostorms in the coming week. Flurries of geostorms on Earth can be much more discombobulating to those of us lightworkers, pathfinders, 
way showers and healers who are EMF sensitive than our single geostorms. Please stay on alert to these possible symptoms. Anxiety, panic attack, cognitive dissonance, and mental turmoil. Check with Space Weather, https colon slash slash spaceweather.com regularly starting about Wednesday, 22 February, 2022, Pacific Time, for alerts on possible geostorms and to find out when they might impact Earth's magnetosphere. During geostorms, and especially during geostorm flurries, it is important for light workers to avoid driving and especially to avoid freeway driving because of mechanical failures due to unpredictable effects of the incoming light on car batteries, electric parts, and electronic parts. In addition, there is, I feel, an increased possibility of driver error during geostorm flurries. Of special concern is erratic driving behavior of motorists that the light worker might encounter on the road because these other motorists may be, for the first time, experiencing geostorm-related cognitive dissonance or, in quotes, mind mud, end quote, as it is termed. It is also possible you may experience failure of electronic devices such as handhelds, cell phones, and computers. Knowing that in advance may be helpful. I recall during the last solar cycle when I was unfamiliar with these phenomena that I felt strong anxiety when both my phones failed. Then I bought a cell phone at the drugstore and it would not even turn on. Then I asked a clerk to help me with it and it turned on for her just like that. Then I took it in my hand and it stopped working again. For more on the above, see my blog categories. Anxiety, hyphen fear, hyphen panic attacks, hyphen cognitive dissonance, hyphen mental turmoil. And another category, artificial EMF fields, hyphen electronic devices, hyphen electrical devices. Another category, mind mud hyphen mind slides. Then there is ascension cautions and finally ascension symptoms. Back then, in the last solar cycle, I mistakenly settled, along with others of the light workers, on a conspiracy theory about, quote, Team Dark, unquote. Then, sometime later, after the mind mud cleared, it occurred to me that the dynamic spurts of proton fall during geostorm flurries were causing electrical anomalies in devices and in my own nervous system, as well as anomalies in electronic equipment. That theory has less of a taint of fear to it and more of a scientific feel, so I am sticking by it even today. From that, I get that in the current solar maximum, as more and more people receive the early and very significant light downloads that help them remember their light worker heritage, they may begin to experience the sense of dark attacks that light workers were reporting online about 11 years ago. In addition to the descent of the dark, there is the descent of the light. If 
during the current solar cycle, we place our awareness on the latter, on the descent of the light, rather than the former, the descent of the dark, then I am hoping it will be easier for each of us to receive our ascension gifts and to rise to ever new levels of the ascension process unscathed by fears or worries about the dark. For more on this, please go to my website and search for my blog categories, Ascension. And then there is Ascension Benefits hyphen Ascension Levels. And then Ascension Gifts and Dark Attacks. And the category Incoming Light hyphen Grace hyphen Leveling Up. And the category Descent of Light and Grace. And finally, the category Descent of the Dark. Be safe, be well, and be careful until Sunspot AR2936 is one day past the sun's northwestern limb, which is on the top right-hand side of the NASA images of the sun. If you go to my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com you can search for the blog with this video in it it has the same name as the video which is Carrington event next week question mark and at the end of that blog you will find a more information section that is quite extensive it has how to find last week's big solar flare information on my site. It, it gives the link for the X flares of the years 1999 to 2001 during which I and many others activated as light workers here on Earth. It gives my personal recollections from those early days. Then it gives a link for the, the famous Halloween 2003 geostorm flurry and the September 2017 geostorm flurry is linked to as well. Uh, it describes a little about an X 9.3 flare that occurred as part of the September 2017 flurry and which might have been a just miss killer X flare or Carrington event. That's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all. Keep you safe. Be with you through all your days.